is going on everybody thank you for tuning in and just uh wanted to break down uh what we're going to be doing in this video today is what i'm going to be doing is taking out a 25 inch monitor out of this cabinet and then putting in a 27 inch now typically these style of cabinets only come with a 25 inch so if you were to try to put a 75 inch monitor into here it wouldn't line up with the brackets that are on there it becomes a pain in the butt so i'm pretty much going to break down what you need to do if you ever decide to put a 27 inch inside of a midway style 90s uh cabinet uh want to send a special thank you for uh helping me out with this video my buddy caesar he's the one that pretty much showed me what to do and also xlrk for supplying the new overlay here on this cabinet so you'll see pretty much what i'm talking about with the overlay and whatnot so uh thank you for watching and if you have any questions just please leave them in the comment section below uh and if you haven't already please don't forget to subscribe and like the video thanks so this is going to be a quick little video that i wanted to show y'all to where i'm going to stick this 27 inch monitor into this uh blitz cabinet so now this blitz cabinet is my main cabinet so excuse the mess around um but it has a commercial tv inside of it and the commercial tv doesn't give it the quality that you know um uh, would be best for the games because see there's the tv and then hold on let me go around and then so from the tv it goes to a converter board into the computer and it just washes down the image so we're going to take this out and i'm going to show you how to install a 27 inch monitor into one of these um uh, midway cabinets so the image on this looks amazing so it's nice and clear the darks are where they need to be the brights are where they need to be so this right here, this is a Wells Gardner, Wes, Wells Gardner D9200. So we're going directly into the monitor from the actual PC itself. So let me move some stuff around. Let me get this old TV out of here. And then I'm going to show you what you need to do for the brackets. Uh, and then we will go from there. One second. All right. So I have the brackets in for the 27 inch monitor. So now these right here, these are 27 inch brackets. So pretty much any cabinet uh, that you get uh, that has a 24 inch, a 27 inch cabinet like this one I took from my Big Buck Hunter because uh, the Big Buck Hunter is um, gonna be converted to something else. So, but there they are, same screws fit. So I got to pop the monitor in. So the yoke on the monitor was a little loose so i had to go run and buy epoxy resin glue so that way i can glue it back in place and then found this little uh blade uh thing for cutting uh because i have a new set of artwork that's on here so for like three dollars came with that and a little four pack shakur the blades pretty nice so but all right let me go ahead and get finished up and let me glue that let it sit and then we'll put the monitor in so just real quick what i wanted to show real quick while well, I have it out so it's completely like it's not even it's not even on so whenever I put the monitor in I had already had the monitor in and then um, it started uh, it, it looked horrible the image so what I got to do is so this right here is epoxy glue um, so I'm gonna line it back up to exactly where I need it Let's see here if I get there we go. So I got to line it up to where I need it. I used a regular glue from a glue gun and it got so hot it ended up um, melting it. So literally all four of them are loose. So this thing just like moves around. So I got to get it straight to where I need it. And then I'll apply the epoxy glue and then uh, that should fix our issue. So all right, let me get to it. All right, so I applied the epoxy and ooey dude it looks fucking crazy how much better it looks all right so it's in sorry i'm a tad bit winded if you think a 25 inch monitor is heavy wait till you lift one of these guys to put in one of these cabinets um but see it lines up there at the bottom for the screws well, the bolts, I'm sorry, to go in. So the top, I had goofed at, at some point, I'm guessing, and I cut those off, So, which is completely fine. I have some self-tapping screws that I'm going to put here, one there, and one there, just to hold it in. 
um, I mean, the way it is, it's fine because it has these here and it's pretty much just resting on this top bar. But I don't know. I kind of want to just, you know, just to say that it's it's mounted right. So I'm going to go around back and try to try to show. So there they are there. So and it looks the same on both sides. So and the chassis doesn't stick out any farther than it has to so cool so i'm gonna go ahead and, and um i have a 27 inch bezel um that i got from my buddy randy um so i'm gonna cut it so that way it can fit into there uh and then i'm gonna replace this right here because this overlay looks like shit so uh jeff at xl arcade was kind enough to print me one with no buttons where it says turbo and tackle and, and stuff like that. Um, so I'm going to put that in and then it'll look a lot cleaner. And then I told him to put his logo there. So that way it's a, it can represent. So, but all right, let me get it all buttoned up. We'll turn it on and see how that image looks. Okay. So let's go ahead and try it out for the first time. It is in, we have the bezel on. So let me turn it on and see what the image looks like. Oh, let's see. Oh, yeah, completely better. Jesus. All right, so we're gonna let it boot into the uh, to the big box. So we do have a little bit of degaussing right here, which is completely fine. This monitor has a it self degausses. Ooh wee man, look at that! Whoa, I can actually read what everything says. At first, everything was a little blurry. Um, so let's try some Killer Instinct. Let me turn up the volume. Man, that looks crystal clear. That's crazy. God, that looks so clear. Jesus Christ. All right, so let's try a different game. It's amazing how clear it is. Uh, let's try Mortal Kombat 2 Plus. Man, once I man that converter board really made the image look horrible. That is that is crazy clear. I do I do gotta adjust the picture though. So the reason too I was real big on I wanted to get this done was for the fact that my birthday's coming up on Saturday, today's Sunday, uh, but uh, next Saturday, which is February 17th, and I want to do it live, and um, I wanted to make sure that this was working. But man, this looks insanely good. Cool. All right. Well, let me get since we're here, we're recording. Um, let me get the glass on. And then I'm gonna swap out the um, uh, the control panel overlay, and then uh, we will uh, go from there. Also, I'll post a I'll put a picture here of what it looked like before I had to uh, make our adjustments because uh, it looked horrible before. It was like all discolored and stuff. So let me go ahead and, and mess with the image and what's and whatnot, and then we'll go from there. All right. So the new overlay is on. And man, it looks beautiful. So I'm probably going to end up, my next video on this Blitz cabinet will probably end up being me putting new T-molding and pretty much restoring it like I did the other ones. But let me go ahead and set the tripod up and then we'll turn on the monitor. So the glass is on, the bezel is on. So everything is on, everything is hooked up, all the buttons are wired and everything. So let me set up the tripod and then we will go ahead and turn it on and let's see how it looks.
All right, so let me go ahead and turn it on and then we'll go ahead and we'll test the buttons real quick to make sure that all the buttons are hooked up right. So it's already nighttime. So this project took longer than it was supposed to. Um, mainly the taking the old art off of this control panel. Uh, anybody who's ever done it knows that it's sticky. It's a pain in the butt. I had to sand it, I had to scrape it. And oh my God, look at that image, beautiful. So let's go ahead and let Bitbox, Big Box, I'm sorry y'all, it's been a long day. Uh, let Big Box uh, go ahead and load up and then we'll get into a game. And uh, like I said, we'll test out the controls to make sure that all the controls are working the way they should. But what's awesome is about this part right here is that I can actually read everything. The, before, everything was like super blurry. So I can read everything that it says, which is super cool. Uh, so those of y'all that are familiar with the channel and are subscribed know what games that are on this cabinet here We have our killer instinct or killer instinct 2 MK3 MK2 plus NBA hang time and jam and blitz and Primal rage survival arts Tekken, war gods all that good stuff, but I want to go ahead and test out the buttons so uh, Killer instinct is a six button game. So we'll try both sides and I'm not worried about that discoloration over there because this monitor here does a self degauss, so I'm not really too worried about that. So let me turn up the volume. Killer instinct. So we'll just let it pick whoever. Glacius. Or kill it. What was that? Medium punch. No, that's regular punch. Medium. Fierce. Oh, well, yeah, everything's. Oh, cool. well, that's pretty much it with the video. So, um, I appreciate you for watching. And uh, if you haven't already, please uh, subscribe. And if you haven't already, uh, please leave a comment, like the, the video. And if you have any questions, just let me know. Um, and thank you for watching.